Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Those who are watching this video for the first time, myself Dr. Hilary. I am a prosodontist and also a part-time YouTuber. So yes, in this video, I'm going to share some exclusive information with you guys because very few people in India know about this course, which is uh, the uh, post-graduation course in clinical implantology. So as we all know that NEAT MDS results are out and some of you might not be happy with your results but still you want to pursue post-graduation then this is an amazing route which you can choose which is PG certification, PG diploma or MSc in clinical implantology. So there is this University of Central Lancashire it is a UK based university and it is among the top 10 universities in UK. So they are launching their clinical implantology program for the first time exclusively for Indian students. So you don't have to go to UK to pursue this course. You can stay in India. You can continue your job or whatever you are doing, whether you are preparing for any exam or doing, doing your job. That's completely fine because this is a part-time program. So in this part-time program, you will get clinical exposure as well and you will get online and recorded lectures as well. So it is a hybrid kind of a learning which anyone can pursue. It is created by keeping a busy life of a dental professional in mind. So, so uh, along with doing what you are doing now, you can get a postgraduate uh, degree in clinical implantology in a year or two so you can complete your first year of PG certification then you can choose whether you want to continue with PG diploma and MSc or you want to quit okay so all these details I uh, will be discussing in this video I have Dr. Fadi Barak with me in the later part of this video where you know we are having this deep discussion on why anyone should pursue implantology some of the key highlights of this course who all are eligible for this program and if you want to know more information about this program where you can get it. So, so all, all these uh, queries we have answered in the interview session of this video. So I hope you all are as excited as uh, I am and uh, yes if you are finding this information exclusive if you are finding it interesting do check it out and also do share it with your friends because i want more amazing subscribers like you so hello everyone today we have dr fadi with us on our channel and it is truly my privilege and honor to interview sir so first i would like to take few moments to introduce sir to you all uh, introducing Dr. Fadi Barak, a distinguished oral surgery specialist and fellow of the international team of implantology. Dr. Barak boasts a wealth of experience spanning over 25 years with notable roles including senior lecturer and course lead for the master's degree in clinical implantology at the University of Central Lancashire. With degrees from Bristol University and Imperial College London, Dr. Barak holds esteemed qualifications, including fellowship status with RCS England and affiliation with RCS Edinburgh. He is renowned for his expertise in implant dentistry, having mentored numerous colleagues and conducted groundbreaking research on biomaterials at leading institutions. A member of prestigious dental organizations, including the Association of Dental Implantology and the British Association of Oral Surgeons, Dr. Barak's contribution to the field are widely recognized. Beyond his professional pursuits, he finds joy in family life, sharing adventures with his wife and energetic twin boys and girls, uh, boys and girl. In summary, Dr. Fadi Barak is a leader in oral surgery and implantology, combining exceptional skill with a passion for education and innovation. I welcome you, sir, on my channel. Thank you so much, Dr. Hillary, for your kind introduction and for making my head feel very big with all that. That's very kind. My uh, the, the privilege is mine. My, it's... my pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Likewise. Likewise. Thank you very much for having me on. So, uh, as 
as you all know that this session is uh, regarding the uh, course which is being launched for the first time in India. That is the clinical implantology by University of Central Lancashire. And I'm going to ask a few of the significant questions to Dr. Fadi and he's going to answer to them. So I'm sure that you all must be as excited as I am. So, sir, uh, we'll start with uh, this very basic question that why anyone should pursue implantology? <laughs> yeah, so um, my answer might be a bit biased because I obviously um, love implantology and I am I'm running the course, but uh, I can talk about what it did for me and why I was drawn to implantology. I mean, one of the key things with implant dentistry is that it covers so many different aspects within our field from treatment planning to the medical history aspect to the understanding the physiology and all the rest of so the scientific part but also it includes surgery and the surgical aspects are very wide from sinus grafting to guided bone regeneration to pl placing straightforward implants it also has um, aspects of periodontology and also um, restorative and complex right. occlusion, full mouth rehabilitation. It's a huge topic, which is very interesting, bringing in a lot of things. We work closely with our endodontic colleagues as well, uh, because, you know, before we take a tooth out, we make sure that endodontically it can't be saved and so on so it brings in a lot of different aspects of uh, within uh, within dentistry and it keeps it very interesting it's always moving forward i mean within my career in implantology i started implants in 98 um and uh, back then from then till now so much has changed it's always from materials to, to techniques and so on. it's a very exciting field apart from that I think it's very difficult nowadays to build a practice or a following and with patients who come to see you and not be able to offer a whole a whole range of services. Now, the difference with implantology is that it's not taught at undergraduate level, certainly not in the UK. It's very, very minimal. You might get right. some lectures on it, but that's it. I mean, we, we get trained on oral surgery, on on restorative, perio, and endo, but no, nothing significant on implantology. So it's a postgraduate training, and yet it's a it's become a, a kind of a day-to-day -day requirement in general practice. Patients come asking for it. So if you don't offer implant dentistry, you may be restricting your the the the, the range of services you can offer for your patients. Um, yes, you can refer out, but actually patients prefer to come to you as a dentist. That's why they're coming to you, that they, they trust you. So those are the reasons I would say doing a training in implantology is, is very important. Right, so I completely agree with you that for a wholesome practice, you know, uh, having the knowledge of implantology and practicing implantology is must. Yeah. So yeah. Sir, uh, can you share a few, few of the key highlights of this course? Uh, yes, yeah. I mean, so there is there's a lot of information that you can find online, but in essence, um, what this course is about is uh, to, 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 first of all, the way I thought about putting this course together is to think about um, what would I want from a course? If I was learning how to do implants now, what would I want um, to be able to feel confident and competent to go forward. That's how it all started. And with that, we get a lot of feedback from, from delegates every year, how what they suggest we can improve things. But in essence, okay. what it does, it gives you a very strong foundation of understanding implantology in relation to everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It also um, helps to, <laughs> excuse me, to get you from even having no experience, no lology implants, to being able to place implants and do a, some advanced work. The, the key thing is it gives you the foundation to build on. Um, as part of the course, you will be seeing patients, you will be doing the full CBCT training, and you will have a huge network of people in the UK and abroad to communicate with 
and have case discussions and support. So uh, yeah, so these were the few key highlights of this course. If you want to know the details of this course, I'll give you a, a link in the description box below. So obviously you can refer to that and it has all the details about this course, how many patients you'll get to practice upon and uh, you know, the online and the offline schedule, the complete schedule, you'll find it on the link which is given in the description box below. So kindly refer to that for that. Now we'll move to the next question. That is, uh, who should join this program? Who are the ideal candidates for this program? Uh, another good question. Um, it's really for anybody who's started in practice already. They've had some experience. Um, that's what my recommendation would be. And they want to progress. They want to provide more services. They want to have a variety in the in the clinical work, but also be able to help the patients with a, a wider range of services. Um, it, it's it's not specifically for surgeons or non-surgeons. We get students who have done the courses in the past who have been purely surgically trained and had no restorative training, and we've uh, supported them through that, and vice versa. People who've done hardly any surgery, but they do lots of restorative work. So um they can be total beginners from that end in terms of implantology and the what what the course does is support you through both the surgical aspect and the restorative aspect to make you confident so a bit of experience and somebody who's keen to progress um and learn about a new skill expand their the horizons really to be able to provide more services all right definitely so so, so moving to the next question, uh, what a student or candidate will get at the end of this program? How much value this program will provide to one's professional career? Right, thank you. Yeah, I think that's very important actually, because um, as more and more implants um, are being placed and more and more places offer implants, certainly in the UK, again, just boring you with history. In 1998, when I asked the patient if they had heard of implants, they would say no, they hadn't even heard of it. I had to convince my colleagues that implants are a good thing. Today, um, everybody knows about implants. Patients, patients come in are asking well for it. Exactly. Yes. So to put you in a situation where a patient can understand your training, and that people ask for this, you know, what was your training? How much experience have you got? And so on and so forth. So to have a formal training, which is from a UK university approved with clinical experience, cuts out a lot of those awkward awkwardness when people haven't had formal training. Um, and again, in those days, a lot of things we started at um, and people didn't know any better. But now they, they, they do ask these questions and they expect you to have had some sort of training. Also, if you're going for jobs, wherever it is, if you're applying for jobs and you've got a formal qualification, uh, it, it, it does uh, set you apart. Patients do look um, uh, on, on the qualifications to see what, what postgraduate trainings people have done. So those are very important, apart from the fact that it gives you confidence. If you've done something as a training, it, you will be more confident to actually liaise with, with colleagues and with patients, having a better understanding of um, how, how to talk about this particular topic and being both clinically and scientifically confident about it, if that makes sense. Right, right, definitely, sir. So, uh, uh, so moving forward, how this program will help someone who wants to settle in UK? Yeah, so it's 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 a lot related to what we just discussed now, actually. Um, if somebody comes to the UK to settle here and work, again, having a qualification, a formal qualification, will, will help set, set them apart from others. Um, quite often we find, for instance, even when we look at um, uh, getting uh, help for mentoring students and supporting our, our delegates, um, people always ask us, do you know somebody who can help us or do you know somebody who can do implants? One of the things we look at and they look at is what's on the CV, what training have they had? So okay. it will certainly help with finding posts, finding positions. And also we've got uh, a lot of our students now, um, I've been talking to a few of them recently, are traveling around. So they go from practice to practice doing just implants. 
because they liked it right. so much. They're doing right. much less general practice and they're doing a lot more implants by going to practice. But having that training means that they can actually apply to a post when it opens up and say, look, okay. this is my background and, and, and they're much more lo- likely to get it. The same with we have corporates here. We've got, you know, these big corporates. We have multiple practices. If you want to work for somebody like that, having a qualification is very important. Right, right, right. Definitely, sir. So, uh, sir, how is the uh, post program support uh, for the candidates? Yeah, because I that would is like... something which is must as yes. a beginner. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I think maybe <clears throat> hopefully at some stage we can give you an opportunity to ask some of our delegates who've been who've been on the program and they can tell you exactly what support they've had. But I can tell you what, from from my point of view, uh, what the what the, what we do after the program. Um, we're not just about going through the course. We're building a network of like-minded cl- clinicians, and we want that network to stay in communication. So, for example, a lot of our uh, training centers, <clears throat> mentors, and some of the lecturers actually are alumni. So the people who actually qualified and they've got experience and come back and work with us. Uh, the other part is we have this network that can support with questions, with uh, with concerns, if if they don't know how, what to, how to deal with the clinical situation. That network is there. Uh, in fact, we have uh, two monthly meetings, one is on a Wednesday evening, another one is on the fourth Saturday um, of the month where people can bring their cases with discuss. So we support our, our um, alumni, our colleagues in that way, clinically. Um, also, occasionally people want support with references and we're finding jobs and so on. So we, we have that support network ongoing. It becomes um, a, a kind of a long term learning but also right. clinical and general support. Right, right. So what I honestly feel is that uh, this is the unique feature of this program, like the fantastic mentors which you will get in this program, like Dr. Fadi himself and uh, uh, the post program support which you will get through this program is truly exceptional. If you want to know more about the mentors and the course curriculum, as I said before, the link is in the description box below. So it is definitely a golden opportunity for all the Indian students who want to learn quality implantology, who want to practice quality implantology and who is willing to or maybe thinking of migrating to UK or settling in UK. So this is a fantastic opportunity for you guys. So do check it out. The details are in the description. And thank you so much sir, for taking out uh, time and, uh, you know, having this conversation with me and uh, my audience. Thank you so thank much. You. Sir. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Same here, sir. Thank you so much, sir.